Greetings and welcome to your May reading, Libra. The um, uh, today I'm using the uh, Dorian Virtue and Red Light Valentine Guardian Angel Tarot cards, and I will be using the Past Life Oracle cards by Dorian Virtue and Brian Weiss, MD, later on at the end. Thank you so much for joining me, Libra. Uh, these are billed as the sweetest cards in the tarot world, and they have beautiful Victorian artwork on them. And um, it, whether your sun, moon, or rising sign is Libra, this is for you. So, okay. So down below. This your present position is a healer of thought. It's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful, and caring. Has a lot of sense, a wonderful sense of humor, and offers a lot of life experience. There you go. So that's the Healer of Thought, and the extended interpretation of the Healer of Thought is out with the old and in with the new. It's time to clean up all aspects of your life that no longer serve your divine purpose. If your space is cluttered and disorganized, tidy it up. If your home is full of things you no longer use, have a yard sale or donate them to a reputable charitable organization. If there are people in your life who only take and don't give back or are creating unnecessary drama in your world, it may be time to release them. Mixing humor with wisdom can help solve any problem in a way that everyone can approve of. Someone who has a great wisdom accumulated from diverse experiences in life a person who has infinite patience and a wonderful sense of humor. A successful individual without an ounce of pretension. A very insightful and caring friend. A sometimes stoic or professional demeanor that hides a warm and loving heart. Unmarried individuals, a single parent, asserting your independence, being a perfectionist. So maybe, all right. So you're, you're asserting your independence and being a perfectionist. Maybe too much of one. Okay, and crossing you, your, your current uh, challenge affecting this situation is the spiritual teacher. There are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. My goodness. So, are you feeling that you are not fulfilled in some way? And this is in the nine, nine of the major arcana for this deck. Seek and you shall find. You will discover a wonderful mentor or spiritual teacher as you ask heaven for someone who can provide you with wise counsel and loving guidance. Or perhaps it's time for you to step out into the open as a teacher with many spiritual gifts. Don't underestimate the brightness of the light you have to offer to others. If you're currently on a quest for peace and enlightenment, do, do your seeking within. Meditation or time spent in nature can provide great insight. Self-discovery, rewarding time spent in solitude. Excellent advice that you should follow. Taking a break from your hectic life. Okay. So that is the current challenge. And maybe a little balancing solitude with seeing other people. And um, self-discovery. Maybe uh, taking somebody up on an offer to come out more publicly about something. Um, taking a break from hectic life not, does not necessarily mean taking a break from such things as um, as 
is uh, more refreshing, spa-like treatments, uh, enjoyable things, food, shopping, things like that. We're talking hectic stuff. Um, but uh, it says come out, come out wherever you are, is what it says. All right, so the basis of the situation, ooh, and it's an unusual card. It's the seven of emotion. Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely that you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. There you go. It's this lady with a bunch of little babies on a string like balloons above her head, little cherubs, cherubim with their little wings. And this is the basis of the situation right now. So, you're procrastinating about something, possibly because you don't want to upset someone. And ask heaven for guidance and make a choice that celebrates you. So, you need to stop putting off decisions. And the seven of emotion says, sometimes it can be very difficult to make a choice. We may have multiple options that are appeal to us or perhaps don't like any of the possibilities. Listen to your intuition. Are you taking the necessary time to choose wisely or have you fallen into procrastination? If your guidance tells you that you're stalling, then move forward. Your body uses feelings as a way to guide you in making your the a correct decision. Listen to your emotional compass to know how and when to proceed. If you're still uncertain, ask your guardian angels for a sign. Time to get focused, the need to release unhealthy choices, unproductive daydreaming, being unrealistic. Oh dear, Libra. Okay, so it's time to get busy, um, get focused, becoming realistic and putting your plans to action. So in the very recent past, we had the helper of emotion. Romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love. Gifts of flowers, love letters, and poems read aloud are all in your future. Marriage proposals, weddings, and past life connections are possible. Someone new who is romantic, dreamy, and emotional may enter your life. This person could be an artist who is an idealist about love. And it's to very young people courting. Uh, the girl has wreaths and the boy is holding a basket of flowers to help her make wreaths. So, the helper of emotion. Romance blooms and love grows. Flowers are delivered unexpectedly, followed by whispered phone conversations in the evenings that go on for hours and hours. It's all part of the process of falling in love. Your heart soars and you smile more than you usually do. You even remember how to blush. The helper of emotion changes charges in with grace, poetry, and knowing eyes, and suddenly nothing is the same. This may be a new person in your life or someone you've known or been with for a long time whose romantic flames have been rekindled. Either way, love is in the air. Read deeply of its bouquet. A person who makes your heart flutter, someone who is dreamily emotional and romantic, a soulmate, an idealist about romance, an artist at heart who can be a bit dramatic wise in matters of the heart with clarity about what's important in life. Marriage proposals and weddings, artistic endeavors or events, past life connections, opening your heart to a situation, staying grounded during an emotional experience. Okay. Wow. Very heavy past life stuff. Open your heart, it says. Now, your present situation is the Ace of Abundance. This cherub brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. 
These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There may be important contracts to sign. That's the Ace of Abundance. This is the beginning of a wonderful new endeavor. A windfall of resources comes your way to help to get things off to a fantastic start. This is a good time to launch a venture, change careers, or even go into business for yourself. Be open to new acquaintances or even old friends who can introduce you to helpful people or provide insights on how to get things done successfully. This card may refer to resources from others but that, that are not limited to money, but could also be gifts of time, wisdom, or material goods. Making a sound long-term investments is also indicated when this card is drawn. You may want to set aside money for the purchase of a home, for their education or retirement. Uh, a business document or contract, good health, focusing on results, good luck, hope for the future, and feeling very blessed. Now, in our future, we have Four of Abundance. It's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending it too freely, or are you holding on to it too tightly? This can also relate to how you give yourself to others. Is your heart open, or are you holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring great success. Four of Abundance. This card asks you to pause and reflect on your relationship with money. Are you spending it too freely, or are you tucking it away a bit too frugally when it might be used to bring you joy? It's important to look at your financial health in a balanced way and be prepared for the future, but not to the extent that you're not living life to, to its fullest in the here and now. This is true whether your resources are related to money, energy, or emotion. So you can ask yourself, am I giving my, of myself emotionally too freely, or am I holding back too much? It's very important to be charitable to worthy organizations as well as to individuals in need. Consider volunteering your time or money to causes that you feel strongly about. Wise investing, worrying about money, good business judgment, being too controlling, hard work that pays off. So your current uh, position to what you can do in this situation to bring about a positive result is the six of thought. Peaceful times are on the horizon, the storms have passed, and now you can see the destination is within sight. The stress of your life will begin to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country. Heaven has heard your prayers, and now things will get much better. It may have been a long and difficult journey, but your destination is within sight. Brighter, happier days are ahead. The stress in your life will start to melt and fade away, allowing you to set your sights on the future. The storm is over, and you're headed quickly towards sunnier skies. This card is also indicates travel, especially over water. If you're interested in moving or relocating, then signs look very positive. Or perhaps your journey is more of a spiritual one, leading you to amazing new revelations. Peace after challenging times, the return of hope, slowly moving forward, gaining a more positive viewpoint, and starting a new life. A new beginning. You're at the beginning of a wonderful journey. 
There's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world if you will just free yourself from that which holds you back. New opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. And this is in the position of how others affect you in these circumstances. And it is in the zero spot of the major arcana. So the magician spot. The pool spot. Excuse me. This is the moment that you've been waiting for. It's a joyful time of new beginnings when you can make bold changes in your life. Like a butterfly flying across a meadow, your dreams are beckoning you to chase after them. Lay down your fears, concerns, or uncertainties, and embrace the unending possibilities open to you at this time. An unexpected opportunity may have recently presented itself to you or one may do so in the near future, very near future. Take this as a sign from heaven and your guardian angels that it's time to finally break free and be the person you've always wanted to be. Don't wait another day to begin your journey along the path of happiness. All things are possible, childlike wonder, having faith in your inner guidance, releasing anything that holds you back, going after your most heartfelt desires and loving life. And then in your hopes and dreams and concerns for the future, we have six of action. What a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, and other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. So there's our six of action. Victory, success. This is your day in the sun. Whatever goal you've had your eye on is going to work out beautifully. There's no doubt that you'll be able to realize your dreams if you haven't already done so. This is a card of good fortune optimism and anticipation of a job well done. If you've been praying for someone to come and help you solve your problems, then your prayers are about to be answered. This earth angel may not do all the work for you, but he or she will be able to point you in a direction that will dramatically ease your path. Congratulations! Receiving an award or promotion, wise choices, a sure thing, Good news, victory that comes with hard work. And in conclusion, the two of abundance. Wow. So it says life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. You could be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change to your dream career. It's important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible. Multitasking with a positive attitude brings success. Libra. Okay. And the extended interpretation says, if you drew this card, then you're probably feeling as if you're juggling too many priorities at once. That can be exciting and exhilarating, or it can seem as though life is seriously out of balance. If life cha is challenging, to you, if life seems challenging to you, try to bring a playful energy to your tasks. Take many breaks to laugh with a friend or do something that stimulates your inner child. Make sure that when you do stop working for the day, you get to rest and enjoy your downtime. You may be feeling as if you really have to tighten your belt with respect to your finances. If abundance issues are causing you stress, ask heaven to provide you with new opportunities to manifest money you need. Um, 
make sure that your eyes are wide open to any opportunities that your angels send to you. Make choices about your career very carefully. Being adaptable to change, an excellent multitasker. Uh, keeping your day job while pursuing your dream career after hours. Balancing your work and your personal life. Living very fruitfully. It's a two of abundance. And it sounds like you're going to be able to save money and have new opportunities show up. And uh, manifesting the money that you need. And all you need is to take some mini breaks and uh stim you know do something that stimulates your inner child self keep your sense of humor as somebody i know says keep your sense of humor okay so past life oracle cards yay by Doreen Virtue and Brian Elias, MD, who does uh, hypnotherapy, past life regression stuff, wrote a book. I think he's a um, very fascinating person. Anyways, okay, give you breath. We call on the forces of Venus to, we call upon the forces of Venus to please guide us in selecting appropriate past life card Venus Libra Ooh. Wow food and hunger is what we're getting for you Libra so oftentimes when there's been starvation people tend to gorge themselves and it creates a a cycle. That's what this is saying. Of need and then also uh, excess and then need again. So in this case You didn't have enough to eat in your past lives, causing you to overeat and hoard food in this incarnation. You may have weight or eating disorders issues because you associate eating with fear instead of hunger. You harbor insecurities about whether there will be enough food in the future, so you may stockpile supplies. You also serve yourself large portions and make sure to eat everything on your plate just in case. There won't be enough food in the future. For some people, this pattern also applies to fears about having enough water to drink. Often, just remembering the past life pattern is enough to heal the issue. Understand that the past is over and will not repeat in this current lifetime. The goal should be to learn from it and then let to let it go. Also, let fears of deprivation fade away as they are no longer necessary. Open yourself up to abundance. So, I, I think that if you allow others in and you open yourself up to the abundance you need, the resources and prosperity will come to you very soon, Libra. So I hope this reading has been helpful. You can write me at daramkar23 at gmail.com. Um, and I will have my website up very soon so you can make appointments, let real time and all that. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure reading for you. Sat Nam. Namaste. And many, many blessings. Happy spring. Happy Passover, Happy Easter, Happy Astara, Happy Baisaki, Happy, Happy, Happy. And I will see you very, very soon. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon so you know exactly when I put up my newest videos. This has been a um, divine soul connection partnership reading. 
and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Much love. Mwah.